Namaskar students. Today we will be starting another topic of class 7 Geography chapter number 2 Inside our Earth. So come join me in this class. Kids, can you imagine which cartoon are we referring to over here? It's our very favorite, the Flintstones. And can you see the house that he lives in? Yes, it's made up of rocks. Yes. So now, can you think which topic we're going to start today? Yes, yes, yes. It's about the types of rocks. So today we will see the different kind of rocks which are available near us. We will see that there are three types of rocks. Igneous rocks, metamorphic rocks and sedimentary rocks. We will see that there are further categorization of the igneous rocks. That is intrusive igneous rocks and extrusive igneous rocks. And we will see it further how we can differentiate between all these types of rocks. When we talk of rocks, rocks are made up of the natural mineral constituent. So the earth's crust is actually made up of various types of rocks. Any natural mass of mineral matter that makes up the earth's crust is called as a rock. And the rocks can be of various color, size and texture. So you must be seeing the different kind of rocks around your house also. Wherever you're going, the type, the shape, the color keep on changing. That's the feature of the rocks. Now, there are three major classification of the rocks. Primarily, igneous rock, sedimentary rock and metamorphic rock. When we talk of igneous rock, it comes from the Latin word ignis, which means fire. So, it's very hot. Number two, sedimentary rock. Now it comes from the Latin word sedimentum which means to settle down. And the third one, metamorphic rock which comes from Greek word metamorphos which means change of form. So the metamorphic rock actually Let's talk about igneous rock. The first type of rock that we are talking about. Yes, so igneous come from the Latin word ignis which means fire. That is, it is somehow related to fire. Okay, so how is it that so? Let's look. So when the molten magma cools down, it becomes solid. Because the magma, once it is coming out of the mouth of the volcano, it will come out on the surface of the earth and then it will cool itself down. And then they become a solid. That solid rock is called as igneous rock. So now can you relate why is that igneous word coming from the Latin word meaning fire? That's because it is coming out from the molten magma. So once the magma is settling down, it's going to cool down, you find the formation of the igneous rock. The igneous rock is also called as the primary rocks. Now the igneous rock has two other forms. It's not coming on its own. It has the two brothers and sisters also. Who are they? Number one is intrusive igneous rock. And number two is extrusive igneous rock. So they are a family. Not a one but type three. So the intrusive igneous rock what happens is that sometimes the molten magma it cools down deep inside the earth's crust. 
okay so it does not come out on the surface it cools down inside the earth's crust the solid rock so formed will be called as intrusive igneous rock remember the word intrusive in referring to inside the earth since they cool down slowly they form large grains and you can see that granite is an example of the kind of intrusive igneous rock grinding stones used to prepare the paste and powder of spices and grains are also made up of granite so the intrusive igneous rock is formed inside the earth remember from the word i n in meaning inside the earth let's go on to the second one extrusive igneous rock what happens here the lava is actually fiery red molten magma coming out of the interior of the earth on the surface of the earth right so it comes out and when this molten lava comes out on the surface it rapidly cools down and it becomes a solid the rocks formed in such a way on the crust will be called as extrusive igneous rock extrusive would mean outside so the rocks which are coming and uh, from the molten magma when they are cooling down they are forming the rocks outside on the crust that will be called as the extrusive igneous rocks what are the structure they are very fine grained and you can see the example of basalt so if we have to compare intrusive and extrusive we know that intrusive is formed inside the earth's crust whereas that extrusive igneous rock it is formed on the surface of the earth intrusive will be having a very large grain uh, structure whereas the extrusive igneous rocks they are fine grain structure and the third point can be the example and the diagram over here is also re reflecting the two types of igneous rock of how they are formed let's come to the second type of rock it's the sedimentary rock hello yes let's talk to a sedimentary rock so sedimentary rock who are you can you please tell us something about yourself yes yes i will tell you so rocks roll down crack and hit each other and then broken down into smaller fragments do you know what these fragments are called as they are called as sediments okay okay we understood so sediments are the smaller pieces of the rocks is that right yes yes you are absolutely right so these sediments are transported and deposited by the wind water and other ways these loose sediments they are compressed and hardened to form layers of rocks and then you know who is formed yes it's me the sedimentary rock wow we understood that so basically the sedimentary rock is formed with the sediments sediments are nothing but the smaller pieces of rock over the period of time the rocks might break down into smaller pieces with the help of wind water or any other agent and then the deposition of these rocks will lead to the formation of the sedimentary rock so this might take a long period of time for the formation right hmm so what are the examples of sedimentary rock you can see sandstone is made up from the grains of sand so that leads to deposition of the sand and then the formation of the sandstone happens These rocks may also contain the fossils of plant, animal and other microorganisms that once lived on. Okay, so here we are talking about something new. Fossils. You must have heard it before. So fossils are nothing but the remains of the dead plants and animals that for example, coal is one of the fossil fuel which is formulated with the remains of dead plants and animals that get trapped in the rocks so you must be able to understand that when the fossils are being formed it takes a large number of years for their formation so coal my dear friends it takes a long period of time for the formation so can you think whether you should use the coal judiciously or just keep using it randomly think about it 
Also, have you noticed what do I write with on the blackboard? Yes, it's the chalk. And chalk is also an example of sedimentary rock. Okay. Here we are with the third type of rock. Hello my dear friend. Who are you? I am the metamorphic rock. The igneous and the sedimentary rocks can change into metamorphic rocks under great heat and pressure. Didn't you know? Oh, sorry metamorphic rock. We didn't know. But now we definitely know you. And can you give me some examples? Yes. The clay, it changes into slate. And you can have the limestone which changes into marble. So slate and marble are actually the examples of metamorphic rock which is the third type of rock we are studying. Now it's fun time. It's Riddle time. Okay. Riddle number one. I am white and tasty. You can sprinkle me on your food. Who am I? Think, think. Yes. It's the salt. And how do we get the salt? From the rock itself. Great. Riddle number two. Let's move on. I am melted to make glass. Glass blowers make shapes. From me. Who am I? Hmm. It's this sandstone which is made up of particles of sand held together with silica. The particles are very hard and at very high temperature they can change into glass. Right? Okay. Riddle number three. You can write and draw with me. Who am I? Hey, it's the chalk. Right? It's the type of which kind of rock? Think about it. So all these three riddles that we just talked about over here, it talks about the different kind of rocks. So I hope you understood how rocks are so important. It's time to do an activity. So you have to select any five monuments made from two different types of rocks. Make a e-booklet covering the following points about each monument. Put the school logo, name, class and section in the booklet. A picture of each monument should be attached in your e-booklet of whichever monument you are taking. Write a short paragraph about the historical background of that monument. The main stone which is used in the construction should be properly mentioned. Pen down the special features or the characteristics of the stones which are used in their construction. So enjoy this activity. Thank you for being such a great learner.